Hey guys, this is Danny James filling in for Jazzy Josh and I am joined today by the hooligan Vinny Daniels to commentate on DKW's Trick or Yeet event. How are you doing today, Vinny? When you're Vinny Daniels, every day is a good day, but it's even better that I'm joined by you to watch some world-class wrestling presented by the DKW Academy. And that is indeed what we are going to do. We are going to kick off... First of all, with the Tournament of Terror, and I'm going to throw over to a familiar face in the ring. Um, so, we are ready now to get Trick or Yeet underway, and we are going to start with the Tournament of Terror, the very first semi-final match. Oh. Introducing first, the Marvel of Magic, Rohan Blake. So we, yeah, we have Rohan Blake here who is about to take on Taylor James. Um, this match initially was announced that it was supposed to be uh, Lewis Barrett taking on Taylor James, but for some reason, Lewis Barrett didn't make the event. So it was changed last minute to Rohan Blake taking his place. He was probably in the gym. You know, that's what Barrett does. I can't blame him. But Rohan Blake, what a competitor to step in and, and fill the void. Amazing guy. I've been in the ring with him several times. You know this is going to be an instant classic. Yeah, most definitely. And the thing, obviously, we've, we touched a bit on it with Lewis Barrett, you know. And his opponent, he is one half of the rebellion, the giant killer, Taylor James. <laughs> And here we have Taylor James, obviously former two-time DKW British champion, one half of quite possibly the greatest tag team in British wrestling at the moment, The Rebellion. And obviously a man, I'm guessing, Vinny, you've been in the ring again with many times in the past. Um, yeah, just explain to people that may not have seen him, what is Taylor James all about? Well, a hell of a guy. I mean, it kills me to say it, you know, I've, I've had many arrivals with him up and down the country. And to be fair, not a lot of people know this. Back in the day, we even used to tag team a little bit together. So I know the guy very, very well. He can do the high flying stuff. He can do the grappling stuff. That's the hard thing about Taylor James. You don't know what angle he's going to approach it from. And he can do it from any angle. So you've really got to bring your A game. Really got to be focused. So... Are you accrediting then the rebellion success to you because you uh, you tagged with uh, Taylor James early on? Essentially, I gave him the foundation, yeah, of, of the building blocks, you know, of how to become a good tag team wrestler. We went our separate ways. I've become the most decorated champion in DKW history. That's a fact. He's going to have great success in the tag team. Everyone's laughing. And ironically, it's something as well that both of you guys are obviously one title away from being a Grand Slam champion. You know, Taylor James, a former two-time British champion, a belt that you've never held. You've been a former showcase champion, a belt that Taylor's never held. Yeah, thanks for reminding me that I've not held the big one. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. But here we go, look at this. It's, uh, it's a core and elbow lockup. It's going to like a, a wrist lock here. And Ryan Blake, not wanting it by the looks of it. No, I think it's, I mean, for me, this is, you know, it's a tournament of terror. So the winner of this match obviously will go on to the final to face the winner of uh, the match coming up a little bit later on, which is Titan Tom Edwards and Harry McDonald. The winner of that match will then go on to the event called Loaded in Leon C to take on Sander Frame for the British Championship. But, well, we say Sander Frame for the British Championship. It all depends on whether Sam can win his match um, at this show. You can see here some back and forth train wrestling, really showcasing both two graduates of the DKW Academy, showing, you know, the prestige of the Academy, all about, uh, you know, that chain wrestling, that traditional British wrestling. And both of them have got that flair as well, they can add in, which I'm sure as the match goes on, we'll see. And, uh, oh, Ryan Blake gets the ropes. Ooh. Nice. Well, missed it there. Great counter from Taylor. 
Oh, it's a big super kick. He's going to feel that in the morning. Ran lands on his feet there into Fantastic the rope. Athleticism. I mean, from both competitors, this is, this is athleticism at its finest. These are two of the best that DKW have to offer. Referee a the little bit. as well. You, you, you're quite right, they are two of the best at DKW. And Taylor James is he's getting a lot of recognition with his work with the Rebellion. But, you know, Rohan Blake, he really needs to be out there more. He deserves it. He really is an underrated uh, wrestler that needs the spotlight on him. So if anyone is watching this, you know, you know, if you run your own promotion, book Rohan Blake. Yeah, most definitely. Again, you know, former, former well, showcase champion. It's a big champion. dive from Taylor James there. That's taken Rohan Blake out. That took me by surprise as well. That was, yeah. yeah, great move there from Taylor. And, you know, getting the upper hand here in this contest. And, you know, obviously Taylor James was a, a former British champion before, obviously, all the champions were stripped of titles. And, you know, he's probably got a bit of a point to prove because he was never actually beaten for that championship. Very clever work through as well. There. He does the drive, does the damage, but straight away gets him back in the ring. He knows he can't win this match outside that ring. You know, he needs to get him in. I mean, he can win by a count now, but he knows it's not going to be like that. And also, he wants to win this fair and square. He wants to either pin Ryan Blake or he wants to tap him out. And to do that, he has to get him back in the ring. Very clever ringman work from Taylor James there. One of the most experienced guys around. I mean, for for a young guy, he's, he's one of the most experienced people here on the DKW roster as well. And you know, you can definitely see in, in his in-ring work. You know, as, as we've touched on the stuff with the rebellion as well. But not only is he a great tag team competitor, he's one of the best singles guys as well that this company has to offer. And you know, anyone that does get the chance to step in the ring with him, you know, I don't think you're going to see him have it's necessarily a bad match. Oh, it's only a two count. Sorry to interrupt there. No, no. An early finish there. It was a beautifully executed fishing and suplex from Ryan Blake. And uh, just, just shy of the free count, but you can tell he's uh, he can smell blood now. I think he's going to, he's pushing on, he's going to try and get this one. He's, he can't win the match like this. He's going to get this ball fight if he keeps that up. But, you know, I get why he does it. Sometimes you you can't win a match like that. If anything, you're putting yourself at risk of getting disqualified. He's just grinding Taylor James down, weakening him down, taking every ounce of energy that he's got. And then by then, when the moment's right, he'll strike and he'll try and finish this match off. I suppose though, getting disqualified is something that obviously you're uh, you're not too uh, unfamiliar with. It's, uh, I guess, one of the tactics you try and employ. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. I play by the rules, you know, if the ref sees it and, you know, happens to see something he thinks he sees that I've done, well, that's on the referee. But me, I'm an honest man. My 14 title victories that I've held in DKW have all been done through being the better wrestler on the day. I don't need to cheat. Thank you very much. Oh, lovely suplex there from Rohan Blake. Just that stomp to the face. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but it really does take it out of you. And you can see Taylor James is, is starting to, to slow down here. But he's, oh, oh no, he's grabbed the leg. One, Quick two, up. oof, two, close two count there. Oh, and a big boot. Just as Taylor James, you think he's going to get, you know, some sort of comeback on. No, Blake Smart cuts it off straight away and says, no, I'm the, the ring man of this, you know, this is me, I'm the ring general, I'm going to control this, we're going at my pace, and you love to see it. Well, he is the marvel of magic and using every trick in the book to try and win this match, and, you know... Oh, it's a big boot there from Taylor James. Might have called a big lariat there. Taylor oh, trying to get this crap behind him. Ryan Blake trying to cut off Taylor James from getting any sort of comeback and it was working. It looks like he's struggling to do that now because Taylor James is an absolute fire. Look at him go. It's a big elbow. And cool there we go again. Ryan Blake trying to cut him off. Was it enough? Oh, he misses the crossbody but rolls through. That's a big knee to the face for Taylor James. And it's a pop-up power bomb. That could be it. One, two. Oh, that was that was two and nine tenths. I swear. I thought that was it. I thought Taylor James was progressing to the final. He's 
trying to G up the crowd. You know, I've been there before. With the crowd, they can make you or break you more often than not they try to break me. But with Taylor James here, they're getting behind him. This could be it. Oh, I think he was going for his, his fidget spinner by the looks of it. But Ryan Blake obviously studied, done his revision on Taylor James, knew it was coming and fights out of it. Oh, Ooh, big chop there from Taylor James. Ryan Blake with a kick to the face. And James with a oh, spinning kick. Taking lumps out of each other here. Oh. Onto his feet from the suplex. Ryan Blake pushes Taylor James to the ropes. Oh, oh, lovely move. Some sort of end of days there. Oh, not quite. Just Again, we've two. seen a couple of close falls here. But neither man can put the other one to bed simply because neither man is willing to give up. I think the, the crowd here making it clear who they want to win this match. They want the giant killer to beat the Marvel of Magic. I think it's just going to be a case of which man is going to hit that finisher first. Are we going to see the black magic from Rohan Blake or are we going to see the fidget spinner from Taylor James? The thing is, that ultimately, this is a semi-final. But what does it lead to? The final. What does winning the final get you? A title shot. And that's what it's all about. One of the most prestigious prizes in British wrestling. And oh, sorry to cut you off. Looks like he's going for that muscle buster. That black magic. No. Taylor James reverses. Rolls One, through. two. Sorry, you were saying about the title match. Yeah, that's why need man's willing to lay down and die here because ultimately this is what's on the line. Yes, this isn't a title match, but it leads eventually to the title shot and it's one of the most prestigious prizes in British wrestling. Something Taylor James has held before, I'm sure he wants to win again. And Ryan Blake, just like me, never held it and we're hungry for it. I know how much he wants it, so that's why both men are putting it all on the line here. Taylor James goes up top here. What's he planning? Oh, he pushes the referee oh. into the ropes. That's brilliant. That's clever. And the weight of that referee... The weight of the red hitting those ropes. Oh, he's going for this black magic again. If he hits it, it's over. Black magic oh, from yeah, Rohan Blake. That has got to be it. One, two, three. Wow. And what a performance from both men. If I was a better man, my money would be on Rohan Blake to go all the way here. After this win, after taking out a former champion himself, that's going to give him the confidence to go all the way. And I guess as well, it's one of those things where, you know, Rohan Blake's got through this part of it, but then let's not forget, he's still got to wrestle again later on in the in the evening. You know, so two matches, obviously the person who wins the, the other semi-final also has to win a second match. And then you've got the... You've got obviously the uh, main match, which will take place at Leon C for the championship, and you know we don't know, obviously know who is going to win that at this at this stage. So, if anything's um, on, Ryan Blake's got the advantage here. If you're in a tournament like this with two semi-finals, you want to be in the first semi-final of the night because you know you'll get that bit longer to recover. The other semi-finals isn't that as long, and you need to take every advantage you can. So it's now time for the second semi-final in the tournament of terror. This match, Titan Tom Edwards taking on the main man, Big Mac, Harry McDonald. Let's throw things back over to the ring. So, are you ready for the next match in the Tournament of Terror? Okay, so the second semi-final in the Tournament of Terror is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Titan Tom Edwards. Look at the size of this guy. That's why they call him the Titan. That's why I put my eye on him. Looking to recruit him. I've tagged him two times now. I think big things are in the future for the Titan, Tom. Yeah, he's a big, big lad. Look at this stepping over the top rope with ease. Crowd giving him jip about his... Uh, him being a bit follicularly challenged. The thing is, he doesn't care about that. He doesn't care what the fans think. And the thing I like most about Tom, he doesn't do anything to pretty stuff. 
He's just the there to win man. matches, and he'll do that however he needs to. None of this fancy stuff, he'll just put a beating on you. And that's what I like, a man off my own heart right there. And here's a man that you are very familiar with. Um, you faced Harry along with his partner, Charlie Brooks and Andros J, um, along with Taylor James and Lucas Jackson at the uh, at the new Independence Day event. You did um, face off against the Brotherhood and Andros J. Yeah, you know, Harry McDonald is a punk. That's all what needs to be said about that. I've fought him many a time, whether it be tag team, singles action, just the referee's never beat me in singles action, he never will be. I don't like his attitude. All he wants to do, look at him, hand us in the crowd, talk like a road man. I don't appreciate it. I'm hoping that Tom puts this kid in his place right now. Yeah, the main man. He doesn't even call himself a man, let alone a main man. He doesn't look like a man. Look, he looks like a boy. He doesn't look like he should be in that ring with Tom. Well, it's one of these things. Harry McDonald, again, you know, one of the brightest prospects that's coming through the DKW Academy at the moment. And, you know, Titan Tom Edwards has the, the size advantage, the power advantage over Harry, but... You know, Harry is down at that academy learning from the best there is to learn from. And, you know, I think for me, I think my money's got to be on, on Harry McDonald to come out victorious here. I just think, you know, he's, the speed's going to be too much for Tom. Whatever you're smoking, send some my way because that is delusional. Like you said, all the advantages in this match, the physical advantages laid at the Titan Tom Edwards. There's no way, there is no way the big man can, can get one over on him here. I just don't see it. Well, I mean, with, with Harry McDonald, it's like he's, he's just got this intensity about him. When he wants to turn things on, you know, he can pull a victory out of nowhere. And, you know, I, I don't see... As much as Tom has the advantages, yeah. Look at that. I, I just just throwing him off like a fly. Oh, <laughs> big boot. This is not a good sign for McDonald. This early in the match, we need to be this dead. It's only a matter of time, actually. Like Tom has got to, you know, he could pin him now, surely. Pin him, Tom. Put this one to bed. I said earlier in the match, the thing I appreciate about Tom is he's no nonsense. He just wants to beat people up and win matches. But by the looks of it here, he doesn't just want to do that stuff. He wants to toy with Tom. He wants to actually hurt him. He doesn't just want to beat him. He wants to make sure he doesn't walk out of this arena. Big sidewalk slam. And this match That's has be been... It. It's been all Tom Edwards so far. Referee there spotting that Harry's shoulders weren't fully down and you know very very good call there from the referee Big Mac if you know what's good for you stay down if you want to walk out of this here arena if you want to you know go home to your family stay down take your beat in life man don't try and fight it because it only goes one way and it's not good for you McDonald I promise you that what's Tom thinking here Going for the clothesline, but Harry comes back with a headbutt. Kick to the face. Oh, lovely drop kick from the middle rope there. Big missile drop kick. But Tom cleverly rolls out and can't get pinned out by the ring. Very clever. Compose yourself, Tom. That's it. Take a moment. Get your breath back. Harry trying to speed the up. up as well. Oh, what's this? No. Oh, on the hardest part of the ring. Love to see that from Tom. Great awareness. Knew it was coming. Not only did he stop the attack from himself and defend himself, he manages to put Harry McDonald on his backside. Well, on his front side in this case. But he's got him down. I mean, as someone that's been in the ring numerous times, they say that that... Ooh. They say that apron is the hardest part of the ring. Just explain to the people 
watching. Just what is it like getting slammed onto that apron? What would Harry McDonald have been feeling at that moment? It's indescribable. I mean, it happens so quickly and for a fan to see it, you probably might not think too much of it, but you will feel that, not just in that moment, you'll be feeling that for the rest of the match. When you go home and you're laying in bed, when you wake up in the morning, you'll feel that deep edge of the ring digging inside you. That is going to, you know, slow him down as well, which is very clever from Tom. Not only is it going to hurt Harry, it's going to slow him down for the rest of the match. Although showing no signs of slowing down here, tries to go for the crossbody, but Titan Tom just too big. Oh, fall away slam. Normally that crossbody, that crossbody normally would have just taken down a regular man, but Titan Tom Edwards is not no regular man. Well, that's the reason they call him the Titan. He's a big, big Going geezer. for the cover here. It seems like, it seems to me as though Tom is just content on playing with Harry McDonald at the moment and he's just just biding his time before he's going to hit that big body snatcher and get the victory but I Harry... think it's only a matter of time your tune has changed from the start of the match when you were back in Ham of but now you've seen my man Titan Tom do what he does I can hear it in your voice you know it's only a matter of time as well now it's like as much as you kind of want to root for Harry it's like you can't underestimate just how powerful Tom Edwards is and you know Harry McDonald will will have to pull out all the stops and you know use Jeez, all the, use all of his training in order to pull out a victory I think it's over. two count I mean speak for yourself when it comes to wanting to root for Harry McDonald I can't say I win that camp myself Obviously, a beautiful bus from Tom Edwards there. Thought he put it to bed. And obviously, for you, last time you were in the ring with Harry, you were on the uh, on the losing team as well. So, well, you know, I'll actually correct you. Uh, you know, there are promotions outside of DKW. None that are as good, mind, but there are promotions. I've wrestled him elsewhere since. I've got my victory back. So I wasn't on the losing team the last time I was in with McDonald. Thank you very much. And also, um, oh, oh from nowhere. one, two, oh, just like that. And that is why I was rooting for Harry McDonald because he can pull those moves out of nowhere. Looking, road man, Randy Orton. He's looking for that big, tasty bicycle knee. Tom moves out of the way here. Going for that. The body snatcher. Oh, he Gotcha. It's it. This is it. It could be all over here. Pin him, Tom. Pin him. It's taking too long. Just pin him. Here's the thing. Tom's a great, great guy. Oh, he used to learn still. You this know. is it. Oh, Harry McDonald. Roll up. One, two, three. Harry McDonald. Crucifix pin. Gets the victory. No. See, Tom and Tom's only got himself to blame there. He hit the move. He needs to pin him there and then, but he's showboat showboat and it's cost him the big Matt Carey McDonald wins and progresses to the final. Surely he can't go all the way. What an underdog story that would be. That was very savvy from Harry McDonald. I hate to say it, but you're right. Very smart move for him. Tom Edwards dominated this match from start to finish, but Harry McDonald somehow pulled a victory out of nowhere. You know, progressing to the final against Rohan Blake. Rohan Blake has had that little bit extra time to recover for later in the night. We'll see how that one goes. My money's on Blake. There's no way McDonald can get lucky twice. And the thing as well is Harry McDonald is going to be in a world of pain having just taken an absolute pounding from Titan Tom Edwards. So it is now time for your main event. And this match is the final of the Tournament of Terror. The winner of this contest will go on to Leon C on the 21st of November to face Sander Frame for the British Championship. So let's get the first wrestler out, please. And yeah, this match, obviously, we've already seen Rohan Blake defeat Taylor James, and we've seen Harry McDonald defeat Titan Tom Edwards. So, 
Vinny, who is your money on for this one? I think that's a silly question, isn't it, really? Look, look at the man walking to me now, Rowan Blake. He's a fantastic wrestler, one of the most underrated in the country, one of the best at DKW other than myself. It's got to be Rowan Blake. There's not a chance in hell that that punk little road man wannabe kid, Harry McDonald, can win this. No way. My money on Rowan Blake to go all the way. Well, you know, I mean, we're saying in the like throughout the match between Tom Edwards and Harry McDonald that Tom was dominating it, but Harry pulled it out. And I mean, you got to think. I think if Harry McDonald can pull off the victory in this one, would that be a bigger victory for him than the one over Tom Edwards? These are all hypotheticals that you're asking me. Lightning doesn't strike twice. He got lucky earlier on. There's no way it happens again. But, you know, hypothetically speaking, if, and it is a huge if, because, you know, it's not happening. If he were to win, it would be bigger, because that's going to give him a chance, an opportunity to wrestle for the DKW British title. And he's a Charles, he was 17, 18. That's unheard of. But yeah, this match in a way, if he wins this, that would be huge. But he's not that. And you can see him holding his ribs there, feeling the effects of his match with Titan Tom Edwards. Then early on, you notice this match with Titan Tom, he come out, work in the crowd, getting them hyped. I mean, he's trying now, but the same energy isn't there because he's just been absolutely deflated of all energy. Because he, you know, he was beaten. He's a broken man here. Look, he's trying to, you know, connect with the crowd. But it's just not the same. He is a broken man. Whereas Ryan Blake in the ring, calm, composed. He knows all he has to do is do what he normally does. And it's going to be an easy victory for him. Introducing first, on my right, he is the marvel of magic, Rohan Blake! And his opponent, on my left, he is the main man, Harry McDonald! It does seem as though Harry has lost some of that swag. Good, it's about time he has brought down a peg or two. And yes, he got the victory, but at what cost? I mean, if he, if he wins this match, great, he goes on to bigger and better things. If he loses, you know, what sort of effect is that going to have in the long term? He's, you know, he's not going to be the same for one, two months. He's going to have injuries. And what's he going to have to show for? Absolutely nothing. So you better hope that he wins this. Otherwise, it's all going to be for now. And we are underway in this contest. Both men coming straight out of the blocks, throwing rights and lefts at each other. Yeah, that was a silly move by McDonald. You know, you're trying to start a fist fight with a grown man. He's a kid himself. He was never going to come out on top on that one. And now he's paying the price. What are you thinking? He's, he's in there with people that have probably been in bar fights and McDonald's not even old enough to be in a bar. No comment from myself there about what I get up to in my personal life. Um, I'm sure there are people at DCW who get into altercations outside. But me, I have a squeaky clean reputation to uphold. It's just because you've never been caught, mate. I think that's what it is. Listen, innocent until proven guilty. But meanwhile, back in the ring, Ryan Blake just grinding down McDonald again. I've said this time and time before, you can't win matches like that, but it's so useful just to take the energy, just to deflate your opponent and grind them down. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's doing it so well. I think for Rohan Blake, the tactic's got to be to try and take out those legs of Harry McDonald because all it takes is Harry McDonald to hit that big, tasty bicycle knee and this could be over. I mean, we saw with Harry how he hit a cutter out of nowhere against Tom Edwards. What's he looking for here? Looking oh, for he went for it earlier in the night. Tom caught it, but Rohan doesn't. That was a big kick, and he does have this, you know, there's something about him, this aura hand that does it. He can just sort of switch it on and, and, and becomes, you know, reminds me of Scrappy Dude just wanting to fight everyone all of a sudden. And, you know, 
And more often than not, he does land some critical blows. You know, he's got Ryan Blake's hand all away here, which is, you know, not good for Blake, but I'm sure as a, as a seasoned vet, he'll be able to get back. I'm not sure what's happening here. Camera, he's not picking it up. I'm hoping when they get back in shot that Ryan Blake's going to have the upper hand. Oh, and here they do come back. Brawl in there in the crowd, and now they're back in the ring. Rohan Blake, what's he got here? Oh, oh. look like he was there. Oh, left he hand. All of it, but a big strike to the back of the head. You know, I think he caught him a little bit, but not enough to send him down. And he said, Well, you know what? If that didn't put you down, this will. Wallop. Harry, 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 Harry. And Harry McDonald now back in the ring. Going for that drop kick from the middle rope and Rohan Blake avoids it. Oh, Taguri. Taguri. Lovely suplex there. One, two. Beautiful suplex there from Rohan. Perfectly executed from Blake. And you can see how McDonald looks like he's out of it. I'm not sure how he makes the kick out of that because he looks like he's got nothing left. I mean, you've got to think he's got to be winded. You know, he's obviously been through as we've already mentioned a battle with the titan and now he's facing rohan blake and i think he was dropped in his head as a child too and that's not going to do many favors i mean i say when he was a child Ooh. he still is a child right into the corner from blake. i'm sure you've dropped him on his head a few times as well during your altercations with him i have but of not enough times I'm hoping in the future I can drop him his head many, many more times. Elbow to the spine. Not enough to put him away though. Little moves like that, they're not going to put your opponent away. You can try and pin him. You know, just on the off chance, but they are, they're going to have that long term effect. They're going to grind them down, they're going to hurt their spine. You know, the best place to work in the match is their back because everything, every limb is connected to it. If you can, you know, hurt their back, that's going to completely immobilize. And that's what he's doing now. Look, knee to the back, forcing it in there. And Harry McDonald looks like he's in a world of pain right now. Yeah, Rohan Blake just trying to get as much out of Harry as he can, but Harry comes back. I think that's just going to anger Ryan Blake even more. Yeah, look at that. Big stomp. You kick me in the face, well, guess what? I'm going to kick you and yours even harder, says Ryan Blake. And a knee to the stern. I'll be surprised that hasn't cracked it into two. I mean, yeah, we say, obviously, Harry McDonald's taken a lot of punishment in both of these matches, but he does seem like he's quite resilient as well. Uh, you say resilient, I uh, say stupid. The kid doesn't know when to say die, and he should, because he's just going to end up one day, he's going to you know, take it too far, and he's going to end up seriously, seriously hurt. I hope. I mean, come on, we, we're not wishing, obviously, injuries on anybody here, and, you know, again... You're... We're not, but I am. Well, I, I'm not, then, OK. Um, yeah, obviously, we want to see people doing this in... You know, not getting hurt. Um, we want to see people, obviously, beating each other up. But nobody getting injured, so then they're out for a while. You know, It depends who. You know, certain people, no, we don't. We don't, I agree. We want this to be done, you know, you know, entertaining. We want it to be safe. We want it to be a great show for the fans. We don't want people to get hurt. Unless their name is Harry McDonald, in which case we definitely, definitely do. Those line there from Harry, knocking down Rohan Blake. Seems like he's getting a little bit of momentum here. He's firing up, obviously going forward for a big back elbow. Goes for a super kick. And it's reversed by Blake with a big knee into the chest. <laughs> oh, but then he hits the, the super kick. This could be a surely not. Not too fluke for him in one night. Two. Oh, two. Rohan Blake kicking out. Crowd getting on side of Harry McDonald here. And that's going to help him. Like he, he's probably winded, he's probably hurt. But the crowd can give you that energy, give you that adrenaline rush that you need to see you through. And it looks as though he's, you know, he's got a second win here. Oh, it's been taken right out of him by Ryan Blake. 
Oh. <laughs> well, we Look thought he had a second wind. He did have a second wind, and now he's just... Yeah. Now McDonald sent into the ropes. Oh! oh beautiful. From one hand, Blake. That's got to be it. There. Oh! This is what I mean, McDonald. He's got that never say die attitude, yes. It can be admired to an extent. It's also stupidity. He needs to, you know, lay down and die, you know, or he is going to get hurt. You know, it seems like he's a, a sucker for punishment. He's also keep coming back for more and more. He's down at the moment, walking around like a fish. While Ryan Blake makes it out to the top rope. Just they're all definitely trying to get to here. Bang, stand by the looks of it. Oh, but catches Rohan Blake. With the knee. And Ryan stand. Blake. Almost ripped their ass, pulls out the ring. Sending him to the outside, it gives himself a chance just to get his breath back. But McDonald doesn't take that, he just goes back out of the ring. Well, it's you know, a risk and reward. He can even, you know, he can even wait the ring and get his breath back. But equally, if he does that, he's gonna let Ryan Blake do the exact same thing, or he can try and capitalize on the fact that Ryan Blake is down. And to be honest with you, as much as I don't like how he's going, I would do the exact same thing. That is a smart move for him, you know, to go out there and, you know, try and get some more pain inflicted on Ryan Blake and put this thing to bed. From what I understand, though, you'd be trying to find a kendo stick from somewhere to wrap around someone's head. Kendo stick, chair, baseball bat. It's all good to me. Also, you know, if I can get two hands around it and I can spin it around someone's head, I will do The action seems to be back in the ring now. And the door goes for a pin. Oh, two and a half. Blake looked like he was absolutely out of it. And that was almost an instinctive reaction. I'm not sure how much, you know, how much he was short was going on there. But his body, you know, just took over and he kicked out. McDonald here getting his breath back. Can't believe it, Ryan Blake just kicked out. But like I said earlier, He's doing what I told him not to do. He's getting his breath back, but he's letting Ryan Blake recover here as well. You thinking McDonald here playing up to the crowd? You think he would just be straight back on Rohan Blake? And oh, Rohan Blake, roll up one, two, oh, one, what a unbelievable power bomb! Wow. What strength from Rohan Blake! Uh, McDonald almost done by his own move. We saw him in the semi final roll up Titan Tom. And he was done by it around himself, but Ryan Blake decided he was going to pick him up. And guess what? Do what I like doing dumping him on his head. Oh, I think that one was dedicated to me. He did nearly get beat by the most devastating move in wrestling at the moment the, the surprise roll up. Oh! Oh, it's a big fury. Athleticism. You are thinking Ryan Blake's head through ten foot in the air and he got absolutely all of it there, McDonald. Fantastic vertical leap from him. And it looks like he's going for a super flex, maybe. But Ryan Blake desperately trying to fight his way out of it. Up on the high red does exactly that. Harry coming back in. Beautifully back up onto the middle rope. Going for, again for that super flex. This is not where either man wants to be because in the flick of a switch, even man can be hurt here. Oh, oh massive super super flex. With the super flex. One, two. Oh, I thought Harry oh, McMahon oh, oh, was oh. close. Unbelievable super flex from Harry McDonald. And most men would be out for the absolute let a ten count, let alone a four on Blake. Not exactly how tough he is. Oh, but that's there's the team team team. 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 One, two, three, it's all over, and Harry McDonald. Harry oh, yeah. is going to load it. I never thought I'd see the day where the, you know, a man that calls himself the Big Mac would be challenging for the British title, but that is exactly what he's going to do. What an achievement. I don't think anyone at the start of the Triple U event saw Harry McDonald winning this tournament of terror, but he's done it.
And I think we have seen a boy become a man before our very eyes here. Two huge, hugely resilient performances from Harry McDonald. I hate to say it, you know, the kid's done well when he's, uh, he's earned my respect a little bit here. And here comes Champagne Charlie and Ben Lawrence, a trip, it's good friends to come and celebrate. Makes me sick. Uh, it's, it's lovely, you know, all three of these guys, you know, products of the DKW Academy, they've, they've come up through the ranks together and it's lovely to see them all celebrating in the ring.